All right, the NBA gets uh, kicked off here in full effect with a full slate of games. We had a terrible first opening day. That happens. We're just going to go ahead and let you know let our pick slide on that. But what we're going to be doing for the rest of the year is looking at the totals on several games each day to see where we can find some value. we got five games to look at today. Let's just go ahead and dive right in. It's going to be a great season. It's going to be interesting to see how – you know, there's some really good storylines going on, uh, you know, this whole year between, uh, you know, teams in the East like the Knicks. Are they going to be able to perform up to expectations to Boston, who's really, you know, coming around? Then you got storylines in the West. You got Durant out there. Um, you know, San Antonio going to go ahead and, and continue to thrive without Duncan. I think they will. Um, but we're going to look at the totals uh, for today's games. Let's go ahead. Let's start breaking these down. First one we got is Miami and uh, Orlando, 200 and a half at Bookmaker. And we're back under the total in this matchup. You know, we look at uh, Miami. Basically, you got Whiteside, you got Dragic, and you got Eric Spolster, a really defensive minded coach. Uh, they got some decent pieces around them. Um, but for the most part, you know, we don't see a team here. They don't push a lot of tempo. They're not going to really, you know, spread you out and, and get up and down the floor. And then we got, you know, a team like Orlando and Frank Vogel, who also is a defensive minded coach, and he's going to adjust to Orlando. You know, last year when they had Scott Skiles for a little while, they kind of pushed some pace. You know, they they definitely pushed a lot of pace with Vaughn. Recently, these two matched up in the preseason, 107 to 77. Uh, you know, it's preseason, but the starters got some good minutes. And I think it kind of gives us a feel a little bit of where Vogel's going with the team. When we look at Orlando in the preseason, they don't really push a lot of tempo either. I don't think uh, they're going to get to this 200 and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and go under the total here. It's going to be interesting to see what Vogel does uh, with that Orlando team. Good young talent uh, on that squad. Our next game here, we got uh, the Brooklyn Nets and uh, Kenny Atkinson coming over from Atlanta. Uh, who, in all rights is, you know, apparently a really good coach. Uh, right now we got the line here at Brooklyn, Boston over 211 and a half at five dimes. And we're going to take over the total on that 211. Uh, they played a couple times in the preseason. Most recently Boston thumped them pretty good. 120 to 99, but your Brad Stevens, this Boston team, there's a lot anticipated for them this year. And you're talking about a team that really pushes the tempo. They average more field goal attempts per game than anybody in the NBA last year. I don't see them changing for that. And you got a guy like uh, Atkinson, who's, uh, you know, his forerunners, his mentors, if you will. Uh, you got, you know, Coach Buds from Atlanta and uh, Mike D'Antoni. So, you know, Brooklyn's going to try and get out and run. They just don't have any talent. So I don't know how many games they're going to win. Um at the end of the day, though, I think that 211.5, I think they're going to get pretty well over this. This is going to be a really fast tempo game. So if they can knock down a few shots, I think we're going to get over this total. Next game we got is uh, Memphis and Minnesota. We got 199 at bet online. And we're back under the total in this game. We look at this matchup. You talk about a coach uh, in uh, Coach Thibodeau. Got some really good talent in this Minnesota team. I like him. It's just it's tough. They're in the Western Conference. But he's a defensive-minded coach first. Last time, you know, he was coaching with Chicago. You're talking about a Chicago team. They ranked second uh, in the league in opponent field goal percentage. And they were also in the top five in scoring defense. I don't think that's going to change so much unless he does like a Frank Vogel and just go, you know, go, uh, goes ahead and starts spreading the floor out and getting that pace and space. But he's a great defensive coach. We all know that. And I expect him to, uh, you know, go ahead and focus on that aspect today versus a uh, Memphis team. Now they got uh, David uh, Fitzdale coming over from Miami, another decent uh, assistant coach. And Memphis, they're a defensive minded first team. Uh, Chandler Parsons is going to be out. I just don't see this game really getting over that 199. I think we're just, this might be one of the lower scoring games of the day. At least that's how it sets up for me. So under the total of 199 uh, on the Memphis Minnesota matchup. Next up, we got OKC and Philly, the Durantless Oklahoma City Thunder. We have uh, 208 at Pinnacle Sports, and I'm going to go over the total. Philadelphia, you know, yeah, Ben Simmons is going to be out, but Philadelphia is not as bad as they were last year. <laughs> they got Embiid back, which should be helpful. But uh, OKC, they're going to get up and down the floor. Billy Donovan, he's not going to change a lot. Uh, there, we should see a lot of tempo uh, in this game. You know, you're talking about two teams that don't play a ton of defense. Um, you know, OKC, they allowed uh, 86 field goal attempts per game last year. Philadelphia, they allowed uh, 84. Um, and these teams, you know, they're going to allow tempo. They're going to get up tempo. So uh, 208. Uh, I, I like these two teams to go ahead and push some pace tonight, and they're going to knock down some shots too. Philadelphia definitely needs to play better defense. Uh, they were one of the worst in the NBA last year, so OKC should be able to score. And uh, I like for this uh, game to get uh, over the total of the 208. Finally, our last play of the game, 
play of the day, excuse me, we got Denver and New Orleans uh, 207 at Heritage Sports. We're going to go over the total on this Denver New Orleans team. This is where I just say Alvin Gentry a million times. You know exactly what you're going to get with him, with New, or- New Orleans at least. I mean, they're going to get up and down the floor. Yeah, they're missing some pieces right now, like Evans is out. Um, and they need to get healthy, but still, I think they have enough to go ahead where the tempo is just going to go ahead and get us over this total of 207. Denver with Mike Ballone. Uh, Denver has got a pretty decent team this year. You know, uh, Gallinari should be completely healthy. Uh, Moutier is not that great of a shooter, but he's a good point guard. So, you know, go ahead and look for uh, these two teams. They allow a lot of attempts. They did last year at least. So look for them to go ahead and allow them each to get up and down the floor and for us to get over the 207. All right, a quick recap. So we got uh, Miami, Orlando, un- under the 200.5 Brooklyn Boston over the 211.5 Memphis Minnesota under 199 uh, Oklahoma City and Philadelphia over the 208 and Denver and New Orleans over the 207 so that's our uh, total plays on this first day of the NBA I wish you luck on your plays and check SBR for the best lines go to sbrodds.com browse compare and shop live odds available at top online sportsbook 